How to use regression? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to test the relationship between variables. Hi, my name's John and I'm from Business Focus, helping your business achieve your goals. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Here we have a sample data set comprised of variables, namely revenue and advertising. What we'd like to find out is whether revenue or advertising has any type of significant relationship between one another. To do that, we'll be using regression. There are seven steps in using regression. Step one is go to data tab. Step two, select data analysis. For more information on how to enable data analysis, you can check out my other video. Step three, go to regression. Select OK. Step four is select your input Y range, which is in this case your dependent variable. And in this case, it's revenue, since revenue is dependent on other factors. Step five is select your input X range, which is your independent variable, in this case, advertising, since it can stand on its own and can affect other variables, like in this case, revenue. Step six is check the box that says labels. Step 7 is your output options where your data will be displayed. So let's use the same worksheet and select OK. Here we have a summary output of the regression. There are three main parts we need to take note of to make sense of the result. First is the regression statistics, in particular the multiple R or your correlation coefficient, which in this case is 0.74, which has a very strong relationship between one another. Second part is the ANOVA table, in particular the significant F or your PE value, which is less than 0.05 which simply means that advertising has a significant effect towards revenue. The third and final part is the coefficients, in particular for advertising, where it simply means that for every unit increase in advertising, there is a 40 point or 40,000 increase in revenue. You've now reached the end of the video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and hit the like button. For more guides, tutorials, and tips, you can check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.